and welcome to Dabbling in Journals and today I am going to be exploring some new inks and as you can see before you I have my modest fountain pen collection. When I say modest it's because even though I have quite a lot of them they are all very affordable pens. I haven't yet splurged into the world of expensive fountain pens as yet i'm hoping i won't now i have this parcel here that has come from cult pens with some new inks and i want to share those with you but before i do so and as i open them up i should just say when i shared my fountain pens with you before i asked you all to give me your favorite inks so that i could try them and i thought that would be an absolutely Fantastic! Oh, I got sweeties. <laughs> I love this shop. They always give you sweeties. Now, what I was going to say was, I thought it would be absolutely fantastic to share your favourite inks on my channel. I made this wonderful list, and that list is in here in my everyday carry traveller's notebook. I think I had a tab for it. In fact, it's here. This little red tab. And I wrote down all the ink colours that all of you suggested and who suggested what. And I was so excited to try them. But it turns out there is nowhere in the UK where you can get samples from all the many different ink manufacturers that you can get if you live in the US. Because if you live in the US, there are a number of shops where you can just get like little sample vials. Anyway, I couldn't do that. Never mind, that's just the way it is. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably a good thing somehow, somewhere. So what I've done instead, because I couldn't try all your favourites, was just to pick out some that were available to me in the UK. As you can see it here, I have bought four. So I have four inks to try, and I've just remembered I also have this little Coeco. So I will also demonstrate the ink I have in that one. So I've got four inks to try. Uh, Caramel Sparkle by Diamine. Lipstick Red by Robert Oster. Number 273 by Sailor. Number 370 by Sailor. And I'm also going to show then the Coeco Sunrise Orange, which you guessed it, is in this pen. <laughs> And also Ancient Copper, and this is Diamine, or Diamine, I don't know how you say it. Right, so let's get started. So the, oh, and I've also got this one I ought to demonstrate, which is Amber de Bermo, oh, I'm never going to say that correctly, Amber de Bermoni by Herbin. Right, so lots of things to put in my swatch book. I think the first thing I need to do is ink up these pens, which I've got ready, so... Those two have that cartridge, you both have that cartridge in. That one has that cartridge in and that one has that cartridge in. So I need to ink up these four with my new inks. I'm going to try not to get ink on my desk, but who knows, probably will. Whoops, got converters rolling everywhere. Right. I'm going to start with this one, which is a shimmery one. You see the gold sparkle in the bottom. So I'm going to give it a good shake. Disperse it through. And I'm going to put that one in my Twisby. Okay, so I've inked up all my pens and I've got this beautiful little Medigate leather pocket size journal that I decided I would use as my sort of ink, inking, inking journal. <laughs> And I already set this up in a previous video, but I just have a Tomoe River Paper insert here, which I haven't decorated yet. Something to do. I have an onion skin paper insert in here, which I don't intend to use for ink sampling, but I'm just keeping it here until I decide what I would like to use it for. And this last insert is Clairefontaine paper, so I can try my pens on two different kinds of paper. So... I've no clue what I'm doing really. I've seen a few videos where people swatch their inks and I'm sort of trying to join in. <laughs> so let's start, let's get started. Now my favourite ink of all time, 
so far has been the Ambre de Bermany by Herbin and that's the one that I currently have in this brass pen and I'm just going to take the cartridge out and see if I can drop a bit of ink on the paper to swatch it. There's some ink coming out here. Right and I will take my little cotton swab and swatch it and as you can see it's this lovely amber colour and I will do a little writing sample. And this is the one that I use all the time in my journals because I really love the colour of it. Though, you know, I may convert to another one at some point. I also have the same one in this Diplomat Traveller pen, which has got a fine nib. So that's my first one. I don't know how long it takes to dry. I can still see it glistening on the on the page. And then the next cartridge I want to try is this Kueco Sunrise Orange, which I've put in this pen. And this is the colour Fox, Kueco Sport in the Fox colour. So let's again just put a little bit of ink so we can do a swatch. I believe you can buy these bottled. I might be wrong though, I should check that. We've got this lovely orange colour. And that is exactly what it says on the tin, Sunrise Orange. I've just realised that I've made a mistake because that's the broad nib and in fact the nib that I have in this pen is the 1.5 stub. And moving on and the last cartridge I have to show you is Ancient Copper by Diamine or Diamine. Somebody tell me how you pronounce that will you? <laughs> I'm going to say diamine for the rest of the video and hope that I've made the right choice. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this ink out and this is ancient copper. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? I think this is quite a popular one. So this is an Otto pen, O-H-T-O, and it has a fine nib. It's a really pretty pen, a little bit slippery to write with though, but very pretty. Okay, and now I'm gonna try this shimmery one, which I'm really excited about. I've never tried a shimmery ink before. Let's start with a little swab. So it's a bit easier now, because I can just get it straight out of the bottle. doesn't look at all how I expected. Interesting. I wonder whether I'm not putting enough ink. Let's try it like that. I forgot to shake the bottle. I wonder if that will make any difference. Let's just try another bit. <laughs> just in case. I don't think it does. So now I'm going to try some writing with this shimmery ink which I'm shaking. So this is the Caramel Sparkle Diamine and I've got it in my Twisby which has got a stub nib. I 
And let's see if we can see any sparkle. It's still wet at the moment. I can't. Oh yeah, I can see shimmer. I can. Oh, that's so cool. I don't suppose it will be picked up on camera. I don't know. But I can. It's got that sort of like glittery look to it. Really cool. You really have to look for it though. So that's now dry and I can definitely see the sparkle in that ink now that it's dried. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really good fun. <laughs> I like that one. Right. Moving on, moving on. What have we got left? We've got three more to try, so I need to speed up. Oh, that bled through look where I put loads on. This is Tamari River Paper. And that's just because I put a lot on there. It just bled through slightly. Okay, next one. Let's try the Sailor 273. I'm excited to see what this one looks like. It's supposed to be a really pale sort of taupe colour, a bit like my macchiato pen that I have put it in. So let's see. Here's our, ooh, that is so pale. I've never had fountain pen ink, so pale. I really like it. Okay, let's see how it looks when I write with it. Look how beautifully that matches my pen. Love, love, love it. And I have this one in a Coeco pen with a median nib. And it's coming out looking a little bit darker than the swatch. I hope that I've cleaned my pen properly and that I've got the right colour coming out. And that actually got quite a lot paler as it dried. So we've got this really sort of it's not quite as pale as the swatch, is it? But it's still a really nice, soft, cool brown colour. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> I'm going to try my green one next and see how that is. So this is 370 or 370. 370. Do they have that many colours, I wonder? Oh, wow. Look at that colour. So I have this one in my green Coeco pen. This is the olive actually, I think it's called olive, this colour. And that looks perfect with it. So let's have a little go writing with this. And I think that is a really beautiful olive colour which just matches my pen perfectly. I like these soft colours because I think the really dark colours all look a bit samey, whereas you can really see the different hues when you go for a sort of paler colour. And then last but not least, we have the Robert Oster Lipstick Red. So let's see, <laughs> let's see what colour that is. Whoops, a daisy. I was just thinking I haven't spilt any. And what did I go and do? Spill it. <laughs> right. So that little spill has given us a sneak peek. I think I'm going to turn over to the next. Look at me. <laughs> I think I'm going to turn over to the next page. I might be sticking those two pages together. <laughs> it hasn't. Oh, it's bled through a little bit. Never mind. I can see myself wanting to replace this book with a really neat one. Ooh. Put a little bit more. Right, so that is Lipstick Red by Robert Oster. And it is actually a very natural rose colour, like the kind of colour that I would use if I was drawing lips, I think. I was thinking that it looked particularly nice when I chose it. That sort of shade of, it's almost like a purpley pinky red. 
I thought looked really nice with this Bordeaux colour pen. So let's try some writing. And I have a broad nib again in this one. It's interesting, isn't it, that they look a lot darker when you write with them compared to the swatch. Because that one, I think, looks darker than the swatch. That's about the same. That one looks a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do now, just to finish off, I will do a little writing sample on the Claire Fontaine paper with each pen so that we can pick our favourite, if indeed you like any of my choices. <laughs> there are all my new ink colours swatched out. We have this lovely orange one, number one, this sort of amber coloured one, number two, the ancient copper, number three, this lovely sort of olivey green, number four, a very pale taupey colour, number five, lipstick red, number six, and diamine caramel sparkle, number seven. So do let me know in the comments which, if any, of those are, are your favourites, so did you like any of them? And I also wanted to mention before I went that Louise over at Coffee Tea Paper is now an ambassador for Ferris Wheel Press inks and I believe they are going to be opening a store in the UK which is exciting. So do, if you're interested in inks, do pop over to her channel and have a look at her ink videos. All that remains is for me to thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!